It was only five months ago that that 17 year old girl was shot and killed along this road here in South Richmond and what crime insider sources described as a botched home invasion. Now that teen's mother is fighting for justice, not only for her daughter, but for other young people who have died at the hands of gun violence. While I'm sitting here is my, I call it, we call it her memorial bench. Akia Purnell comes to this space to try and find comfort. Get a piece of mine, feel a little close to her, something like a tombstone. It's a reminder of the life of her daughter, Samaya Yellerty, or Mai Mai. She is everything to me. She is heaven sent. A young girl taken away by gun violence at just 17 years old. On April 10th, in the middle of the night, Police say the George Witt student was shot and killed while inside her South Richmond home. I don't feel like that I am even able to get a grieving moment. Like I can't really grieve in peace because I'm trying to get justice for my baby. Five months after Mai Mai's death, Purnell says that she still has no answers from investigators as to who pulled the trigger. I'm living in my worst fear. And the worst of her fears, she says, is Samaya's case remaining unsolved as attention from the public wanes. It don't seem like everybody is on it or even still paying attention, for real, but me. And I'm the mom and that's what I'm supposed to do but I can't do it alone. Purnell's plea for help comes as the community loses other young people to gun violence. 15-year-old Tynasia Humphrey shot and killed while caught in the crossfire in Richmond last week. And 17-year-old David Dupree shot and killed in Henrico over the weekend. Put the guns down. The guns, she says, are just ripping families apart. I cried and I prayed for them moms before this even was my story. So all I can do now is still pray and still hope that everybody get the justice we need and deserve. It's, it's, an, it's too much, it's too much, it's too much. Richmond police tell me that Samaya's case is still an ongoing investigation. If you at home have any information that could help, you are asked to reach out to police, you can remain anonymous.